journey of faith, exploring the spiritual practice of fasting. The human body, a marvel of creation by God, operates as a finely tuned engine, brimming with immense power. Yet, like any engine, it requires fuel to function optimally. So, why would anyone willingly choose to go hungry? While the world often associates abstaining from food with dieting, typically pursued for weight loss or health reasons, there exists another dimension to foregoing sustenance for spiritual purposes. This practice known as fasting finds mention in the Bible where Jesus instructed his disciples on the matter. When you fast, do not look somber as the hypocrites do. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that it will not be obvious to others. And your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. Matthew 6, 16, 18. Fasting then is a deeply personal commitment between an individual and their Creator, undertaken with spiritual goals in mind. It involves temporarily abstaining from bodily cravings, typically food, to devote oneself to prayer and seeking divine intervention. While the notion of fasting may initially evoke apprehension or uncertainty, it is indeed a legitimate spiritual discipline endorsed by Jesus himself. The decision to embark on a fast may be accompanied by various concerns. Can I endure it? How will others perceive me? Yet, the essence of fasting lies not in public display, but in private communion with God. As Jesus advised, fasting ought to be approached discreetly, devoid of ostentation, with a focus solely on nurturing one's relationship with the divine. Fasting, however, is not merely a physical exercise, but a spiritual journey one that demands sincerity of heart and steadfast resolve. Whether undertaken privately or in community, fasting serves as a means of spiritual refinement, equipping believers to become prayer warriors and fortifying their faith. In initiating a fast, it is essential to discern one's motives and establish a clear purpose. Putting pen to paper, articulating the reasons behind the fast, serves to sharpen focus and bolster commitment. Planning is paramount, for a fast embarked upon haphazardly risks faltering before its completion. Various types of fasts exist, each tailored to individual needs and circumstances. From the absolute fast, involving abstention from all food and water, to partial fasts that restrict certain foods or beverages, the choice hinges on the depth of one's spiritual need and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. In taking the leap of faith to fast, one's heart's sincerity outweighs the length or intensity of the endeavor. For God, who sees into the depths of the soul, honors the earnest prayers and humble sacrifices of his children. So, whether it's your first step or a seasoned practice, may your fast be a testament to your unwavering faith and your deepening communion with the